Hey everyone, my name is Michelle Smith. And I'm Joseph <laughs> Garcia. We're, <laughs> we're going to try to post, uh, talk to you about what to post and also when to post because I think those are the two most commonly asked questions is, well, what do I post and when should I post? So Joseph, when do you suggest someone post on Instagram? Um, it depends. I think if they're... If you're going to be working this full time or if you have the time to work it throughout the day, then I'm going to suggest you post every one to two hours if you can, um, which there shouldn't be any reason why you shouldn't be able to if you're working this full time or if you're, you know, if you have the time to do it. If you are working, let's say, a full time job aside from being a networks distributor, then you're going to want to post on your, um, I call them on your breaks, but I mean, however it is for you. So when you first wake up in the morning, um, that's a great time to post. A lot of other people are logging on to social media at that same time. Um, maybe after you've dropped your kids off at school, um, you're getting ready to go to work, or you haven't quite started yet, that's another great opportunity to post. You're going to probably have a lunch break, post on your lunch break, post when you get home from work, and then again before you go to bed. Those are very popular times of the day to be posting. Um, if you're a night owl like me um, and Joseph too, uh, I know that we will be we're posting. We're targeting lower markets night owls. <laughs> That's right. So um, when we're posting at like say one or two in the morning, it could be one or two in the you know in Australia or somewhere else in the world. So they're going to be exactly. seeing those posts at those times. Um, so that's also good for those of you who work nights or are night owls. So that's when to post. Let's talk a little bit about what to post. Um, I'm going to share my screen so that you guys can kind of see what I personally like to post. And I know uh, Joseph is very similar in what he posts. We have a very similar style in this. So um, while I'm doing this, let's talk about the four Fs, Joseph. Why don't you share what the four Fs are? Well, I think I know the three Fs, <laughs> but the last one I can't remember exactly. But um, again, we use the same format in a sense. Um, number one, it obviously is, is uh, face or selfies. And I think that's the most important one. Um, take good selfies, always use good lighting, but again, you're going to want to be putting up at least, uh, I would say, maybe two to three selfies on, on average on the day if you can, um, if not more. One thing that um, Steph and I like to do, and I know a lot of my, my It Works distributor sisters like to do, and brothers, is we will take a ton of selfies in one day and um, use them throughout the week. <laughs> so we'll take selfies and then you change your outfit and then you take more selfies, and then you go outside, and then you take more selfies, and no one knows that you took 20 selfies all that same day because you're not gonna post them all that same day. So if you are saying, you know, like, oh, I look good today, I'm having a good hair day, that's a day to go and take a bunch of take selfies. Take a thousand pictures that day. <laughs> just keep changing your shirt, and just keep changing your location, <laughs> and you can use those pictures for seriously, probably two or three weeks, at least. It's true, it's really true. Um, obviously be appropriate in them, make sure that you're dressing appropriately, but yeah, I love that tip for, for, um, for selfies. And so um, the way I like to do the Fs is fashion um, or motivational. That could be one of your Fs. Food. For some reason, everybody on social media likes to know what we're eating. So take pictures of food. Um, funny. Again, keep it appropriate, but something funny is a good one or maybe inspirational. Um, and then my fourth F after that would be um, an It Works post. So I'm not posting all It Works posts. And when I say an It Works post, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a before and after. Um, I'll share my screen so that I can show you guys how I like to. This is oh, the juicy tips right here, guys. <laughs> so juicy tips. Notes. Get ready for it. All right, let's move us out of the way. Move out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you my Instagram. And again, please do not follow us on social media. We will block you. It's nothing personal, but please don't follow us. So here's a picture of a selfie I took. And um, you can see in the comments, it says, I'm opening up five spaces for a trial distributorship on my team. What's the catch? You must be willing to work your booty off and give no excuses. If you will agree to that mindset and behavior, I will personally mentor you on how to go diamond in the It Works Global, uh, making an average of $1,900 a month and earn a $1,000 bonus on your way to diamond within the next 60 days. And then again, you can read there's more information. It just at the end says, just text start today, and I have my phone number. The cool thing about this is there will be people who comment or text you because they're interested. So this is one example of a way you Notice the post. perfection in that picture. Look at that lighting. <laughs> Look at that. That's like perfection right there. That's, and that's kind of like the ideally of what you want to be posting up as far as selfies. You know, don't be afraid to post selfies up there. People love pictures of or selfies in general. So It's true. Yeah. They actually get the most views. 
Um, Joseph, give some tips on how to do a good selfie because some people don't really know how to take a good selfie. So for a good selfie, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use nat always use natural light. Um, preferably, if you can stand up against the window where you're getting good sun, then just face the window, grab your phone, and snap your picture. Notice how Joseph holds his phone at an up angle. We all look much more attractive up here. If you take it down here, you're going to look like you have five chins. Nobody yeah, wants so to always, have five chins. Always keep it elevated because it just gives a better, a, a better picture in general. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you always use good lighting. Um, we have apps that we can use too to enhance the picture images, but um, try to get the best lighting possible for your selfies. Yeah. Um, you know, that's the most important thing to me is taking some good pictures. Yeah, so while we're talking about apps, Joseph has a couple he likes to use. Um, I actually have a couple I like to use as well, so we can share that with you in this video. Um, let's say, for example, I was going to post a picture. I'm going to go to the selfie, for example. So I'm going to use this picture. I actually love the Clarendon version that's already in Instagram, so we don't have to even go out of here to use that. You can adjust your lighting here if you want to be brighter or darker. You can do that. Um, and then there's also ad additional tools. So I can change the brightness. If I click on brightness, I can go brighter. I can go darker. Um, and you can play around with this. There's contrast, structure, warmth. I actually do like warmth because I can make myself look a little more tan than I actually am. Um, this is more cold. Uh, uh, guys, a lot of this is just hands-on. You know, just, um, you know, you're on your phone all day long. Take advantage of it. Utilize the tools that... Instagram has or the other apps that we're going to be telling you about right. um, make sure you get familiar with them So that way you the more you do it the more comfortable you are going to be posting So uh, it's gonna be like like second nature in a sense to you after a while, right? Joseph, why don't you share um, some of the other apps that they may want to download that you like to use um, on a daily basis? So one of my favorite apps um, that I use for pictures for cropping or Clarity etc is Afterlight. Um, just write it down Afterlight is A F T E R L I G H T. Afterlight, I believe it's it's the app is about I want to say it's like three four ninety nine to to download the app, but it's it's um it's amazing. It's got so many different features. Um, our page, I'm huge on framing, so it has frames in there for you to what as well to use. But um, get some get get familiar with it, and it's gonna be super easy to start posting pictures of. Um, one of the other apps that I enjoy using is called Facetune. And again, you can use that to blur images. You can um, almost like Photoshop in a sense where you can kind of clear up pictures, enhance the lighting on those pictures, whiten pictures, whiten your teeth, whatever it is. Um, it's going to perfect that picture and it's going to make that image pop. So yeah. uh, Facetune is F-A-C-E-T-U-N-E, Facetune. Those are my two favorite apps that I enjoy using. I absolutely love them. Yeah, they're really cool. Joseph was sharing with me how he uses them. I'm, I'm even impressed. So um, I'm going to show you another thing that Joseph and I both like to use, which is Rona Designs. So if you want to be able to put anything on top of your photos, you just go to Rona Designs, which is right here. And I'm messing with my own app. Okay, so this is Rona Designs. And you can play around with it. Like Joseph said, it's kind of one of those things where the more you use it, the more you'll kind of learn how to do it. Um, but you can either take a picture here or you can use a picture that you already have um, And then from here you can get just get creative. So I personally love to um, We'll just take this picture right here. There's this photo. I can change the the um, What is that called the crop the crop? Thank you um, I'm going to change it to square and then from here I can actually go ahead and I can add font to it There's all these different fonts that you can choose from which is really fun And then you can also actually add some cool little designs to it There's different patterns that you can add you can change the color around you can change the different designs So it's pretty fun. You can do lots of cool things with this if you want to just play with it There's sorts of you know all sorts of fun things that you can do to be creative with this and then you save it to your phone um, And this makes you unique. This makes your picture different than everyone else's picture um, I know Joseph and I, when we add a new distributor to the team, we like to make these for our new distributors and, you know, write welcome to the team across it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is another area that we like to use that as well. You also I enjoy using too for this app is um, actually a lot of, I'm very motivational on our page too, so I'll post a lot of motivational pictures or, or quotes. So what I'll do is I'll actually go into, let me show you real quick. You can go into, um, let's see, we're going to start over here. <clears throat> You can actually go into backgrounds. So right here is backgrounds. Um, I, I'm very big on, on gray images on our page. I like to keep everything kind of themed in a sense. Um, so you can go in there, click on square for Instagram. 
click the X, and then you can actually write in your own verbiage or you know whatever it may be. So if you're typing up a motivational post and you think of something in your head that you actually want to get down and post it on Instagram, you can just type it in right there and basically save that to Instagram and then post it as an image and there's your motivational post right there. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm real big on that with our page. If you go to our page, um, you can see tons of motivational quotes that I enjoy posting up. So just one of my, one of my niches in a sense. And Instagram loves motivational posts. A lot of people are on there because they want to be motivated. So that's actually a really good tip. Um, also wanted to want to show you guys how to do uh, the airplane mode. This is something that Joseph does that I think saves a lot of time. So um, this goes back to the when to post portion of this. So what you do is you go to your Instagram and you get ready to post a picture. So let's say I'm going to post this picture. We're going to pretend that I've, um, you know, I've done my edits and it's good to go. I'm going to type out just for, for fun. I'm just going to say, I love energy drinks that are blah, 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 blah. Okay. So just type out whatever you were going to do. And then, um, actually I said this backwards. I need to go first to settings and go to airplane mode. This cuts off the internet off of your phone. So your phone does not have access to the internet right now. So then from here, oh, you know what? <laughs> if I change this to airplane mode, then it doesn't connect anymore because I just I disconnected it. So we're off now? No, we're not off, but now they can't see my phone anymore. So I'm just going to walk you guys through this. I'm going to take off airplane mode again so that you guys can actually see my screen. It's not connecting again. And you guys, this is just a good tool to use if you are pressed for time. Um, so again, time management is very important with both me and Michelle. Yeah. Um, so I definitely take advantage of this. I'll set up my post usually at, at late at night or early in the morning. That way when I'm going out or when we're doing our thing throughout our day, um, every hour I'm having a post already lined up to basically, basically just post and it's, and it's going to shoot out. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's just a good tool to use um, for time management purposes. Yeah. Sorry we can't show you on the screen. It won't let us do that. But it does make it so that you all you have to do is just like Joseph said, share the post when you're ready to do it. Joseph and I both set a timer on our phone so that it keeps us uh, in, in, in a... My wife kills me, too, because that thing goes off every hour. She's like, turn that thing off already. So, you know, <laughs> again, but this is, this is business, though. We're running a, a million-dollar business is what, is what I like to call this mm -hmm. on my phone. So, what? I mean, how cool is that to run a, a multi- or a million-dollar business straight through your smartphone? I mean, come on. It's pretty cool. And you will not actually remember to post. Usually, we don't remember to post unless you... Um, or set an alarm for yourself to post. So I definitely agree that it's important to set an alarm. Let's give a few more examples as to um, what to post because Joseph, you, you and Steph do some really great posts. Um, can you share with us kind of more of what you would say a lifestyle post looks like? What would that be like? What do you, what do you suggest? So for lifestyle, um, honestly, my wife and I right now, we're big, we're real big on the fact that we just had a newborn baby. So we, enjoy our freedom of time you know right about now if my wife had a nine-to-five job she'd have to be going back to to work um because her maternity leave would probably be up already having to go back to a nine-to-five job so we're stressing the importance of working from home and having the freedom of time to be able to work our own schedule to design our own life to have a life by design not to worry about clocking into a nine-to-five job so we're incorporating a lot of um images of just my wife and the baby or the three of us just out doing things throughout our day being able to to enjoy our time while also being able to work from our smartphone. So um, that's lifestyle for us in a sense. Yeah. You know, we want people to be, you know, to, to, to people want this, um, especially mothers who, who, who have kids and they want to be home with their kids. So that's kind of where our niche is right now is targeting those moms that want to be home and have that freedom. Right. I love that. And you've been signing up moms that want to be home because that's what you're focusing on. So I'm going to scroll through um, my page and then give you, an example of um, of a lifestyle post that you know kind of works the same as well. Um, so, for example, this is actually one of the ones. This is these are our nieces right here. So this is my husband, and this is our niece. And that's a great example right there. And it's just us. I love this picture. They're they're obviously having a good time. And it says, you know, they're only little ones, and I'm glad I can work from a park or a restaurant if that's what I choose to do. I don't have a boss telling me when I can and can't be involved in our family's life. I'm ready to help four people who want to work from home too so they can be part of their little one's lives as well. This is a great example because, and it's just like what Joseph and Steph do with their little boy, people will see this and they'll look at that and they'll think that's adorable. It doesn't always have to be a, 
um, a computer generated picture of the wrap or a computer generated picture of a product that we have really showing how this, this business has changed your life as a great lifestyle post. Um, and to be honest, I'm not a real big fan of posting up those computer images no more as far as join our business for $99 or buy a box of wraps for 99 bucks. Um, if you're taking a picture with a box of wraps, talk about it, talk about what it does. But as long as there's an image with like a, like an actual live human being with that box of wraps, that's, that's awesome because people will respond to that more than just a box of wraps in general or just a computer graphic image of, you know, join my business, buy my wraps. That's yeah. true. Think about it. If somebody just put like a, some nail polish on, if there was a, a computer generated picture of nail polish and you were scrolling and you just saw that, you probably wouldn't necessarily think, oh, I want to buy that. But if you see somebody like excited and they're showing you all their pretty nails, <laughs> then that's going to grab your attention. You're going to go, oh my gosh, I love that color. Where did you get that? That's a great way to do it. Selfies sell. Remember, selfies <laughs> sell. Do. Honestly, it's it, it's huge. It's it's been a game changer for our business, is, you know, because before we were all about that, posting up just generic images of join our mm -hmm. business, buy our products. Um, so we've completed a 360 as far as our business with with um, incorporating our lifestyle, our pictures, our baby, um, but as well as sharing our transformation with our products as well too. So that works great. It does. I love that. People want to know what this, this business can do for you. They want to know what the products can do for you. Show them what it's doing. Show them what this business is doing for you. And I want to say this. I love the past, present, future posts because some people will say, well, you know, Steph and Joseph, they're, you know, they've reached the, the highest ranks. They're already at the top. So, so of course they have things to post or Michelle, you retired from being a newborn care specialist. So of course you have something to post. You don't have to be the highest rank in this business in order to have something to post. So I love the past, present, future post. So for example, um, a post might be in the past, we didn't have enough money to fill our gas tank up and we, we couldn't really drive places because we didn't have that money. I'm so grateful to it works because I just sold two wraps and got 50 bucks. That was enough for me to fill up my tank. And I know in the future, I'm going to be able to buy a new car. That's a past, present, future. You don't have to be presidential or ambassador or things like that to be able to post something that way. And that's perfect too. That's exactly what we're, what we're gearing you towards um, to work your Instagram page. Just exactly what she said. You know, that's perfect verbiage as far as what you should be using. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, not at the moment, but I'm sure we'll be back for more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy Thank the rest guys. of your day.